so I'm here. I have my blue sweater, same night. It's late. Oh, I made this painting by the way. It glows in the dark. Isn't that fun? Anyway, I just wanted to put something on the wall behind my couch from the 90s. But I have realized that my hair pile is significantly larger than my skin pile. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot. Let's go. It's getting late. I am excited. This is gonna be a lot more intense. So, haha. <laughs> uh, skin stuff, I, re I more recently got into. I've been more interested in skin stuff. Hair stuff. There's a whole saga there about my life. You may notice I do not have straight hair. I have what the good people would call wavy hair <laughs> or textured hair or if it's humid enough curly hair but in more recent time I've kind of come to terms with the fact that it's just wavy uh, though my hair is very very dry and I do need to put moisture in it like it's curly hair. Oh, I used to have really long hair I might like when I say long I mean long um, might show that in another video but an important part of this journey is that I had such long hair that I was trying to keep healthy and it was very difficult. I very recently cut my hair short which impacts my hair care graveyard. My hair care graveyard is immense. My father tries to use up the products to no avail. Um, I'm sure you know people who get stuff sent to them have way more dead products but I bought all of these with my own money and so <laughs> We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it, you know? It's gonna be a wild ride because there's some real trash in here. And uh, I'm excited to share it with you. We're gonna start off with the seventh grade. I'm growing out my hair. It's awful. It's dead at the ends. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'd go to our friend, Sally Beauty. We love Sally Beauty. She did her best and I bought these. 180 Pro, oh my god, when I put these together, dust came off them. Anyway, <laughs> they're not empty, but these were my super nice eye splurge kind of thing. I felt very cool in middle school. Moisture repair. Um, I used this for a while. It didn't really help. I don't know. I don't think it's, it's not sulfate or silicone free. It, it wasn't really that great, you know. Uh, another big problem here, everyone, this is the before times. I am 23 years old, so I'm using this at 12. 10 years ago, that's before the curly hair movement really began, or at least that I knew of. Pretty much everyone in my life just wanted me to have straight hair or not messy hair. That did a lot of good things for my self-esteem. So we have some products that were bought. No, I didn't buy these. These were bought for me by like my aunts who had really good intentions, were really trying to help me. So this was Super Skinny Serum. That's also kind of sus. 2000s was a strange time. Anyway, <laughs> and a Texture C spray. You can still get stuff like these. This is a pretty nice one. I used a lot of this. This, it's a WAP. I have no idea. I have no idea. How to... Paul Mitchell. Okay, it's Paul Mitchell. And, oh my god, this is also Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell! <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't really use this. This smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, like, in a bad way, you know? This is supposed to be like a fancy product. I don't want to smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Uh, this smelled really good, though. That's part of the reason I used a lot more of it. It's probably down to here. Uh, I don't really need texture in my hair for obvious reasons, so I don't really get why I was using sea salt spray. It's not something I'd use now. I think it's good for people who have less volume, but usually, like this, my hair right now, this is what it looks like. I didn't wash it, I just got it wet and let it wet dry, and this is what it did. I didn't diffuse it, I didn't scrunch it, I didn't do anything to it. Uh, this is what it does. And that's a good way for me to keep the volume down, actually, because if the volume's out, it's out. Uh, same goes whenever I had long hair. If it's out, it's out. So, don't really know why I was using these products when I was 13, but I was. And, uh, I don't know. I don't have a lot to say about them because they're so ancient. They're so ancient. 
Uh, and they sit on my counter. Why do I still have them? Because someone bought them for me and I feel bad about getting rid of them. So anyway, now we're going to get to the area where I have more opinions because <laughs> if you know, you know. When I pull these up, people are going to go, ah, she's one of those. Diva Curl. Um, I really wanted to embrace my natural hair texture. I was so excited and so naive. Had the word curl in it, so I was so confident that it would be good for my hair. It was expensive. My aunt bought these for me for Christmas. And uh, yeah, really screwed up my scalp. I would not recommend that anybody buys Diva Girl products at this stage. There is a lawsuit going on. My scalp is still not better and I stopped using this two years ago. Uh, I only ever use the Lopu and the, the conditioner and then all the, the extras. Here we go. Deep into the graveyard we go. I have the Deep Sea Repair Mask. I really liked this, uh, but I don't use it anymore because of what was what I, when I realized what was going on. And the Build Up Buster is empty because the Build Up this gave me and the weird gook that formed on my scalp while using Diva Curl products was immense. So I used a lot of the Build Up Buster and I used a lot of the Melt Into Moisture Mask to fix the dryness because this was a relatively, it didn't clean my scalp, but somehow made my ends dry. And so uh, that sucked. <laughs> and uh, these are just, I just wouldn't recommend them. There are a bunch of videos online of people just roasting these products endlessly. Really damaged my hair. They are part of the reason I cut my hair short. I had a lot of hair damage before I started using these products. So I can't really blame them for my ends of my hair being trash because they were, but I can pretty directly say that this really messed up my scalp. Uh, I am lucky because a lot of people got severe hair loss from this and things like that. Uh, there's a Facebook support page for it. Uh, I kept the products just because for the lawsuit I wanted to make sure if you know anything happened that I still had the evidence so I put them in a box somewhere. Uh, really just don't buy these uh, please. Uh, <laughs> I mean if you're willing to take the risk or if you've been using them and you like the products that's you do you but they did really uh, mess up my scalp. I also have very sensitive skin so I would be surprised if I have sensitive scalps again. Uh, bad anyway <laughs> so there you go you got a full full line here okay we're gonna move pretty fast here because we'll just go through the lines so luckily this is a blessing while i was using diva curl i was also using this shea moisture Milwaukee honey yogurt line uh this is a leave-in this is a shampoo and this is the protein treatment mask my hair didn't need a lot of protein it just needed moisture I went to a hairdresser who didn't specialize in curly or wavy hair and they said that I needed moisture. Oh no, they said I needed protein and so I started buying a bunch of products with protein, that's this, and uh, to try to fix all of the damage and the split ends I kept getting. And when I say split, my hair was split all the way up to here, which is part of the reason I got short hair. Yay! Yay! Anyway, um... I do think this is a very good product, I'll be honest. I think this whole line's, I think the shampoo's just okay. This, that's kind of the, the my whole vibe is most shampoos I just think are okay. I very rarely will be like, oh, this is a really great shampoo. Uh, I think this uh, leave-in, the hydrate repair, multi-action leave-in, restore, prep and protect, extremely dry, brittle hair. This is pretty good too. Uh, I would recommend these products. I will say, I don't have too much shea moisture left, but. I'll, I will say, Shea Moisture, some of the products really work for me and others give me hives. Like they like make me break out. I think it's something in the fragrance. Yeah, this is a line that didn't give me hives, which was cool. Uh, the coconut oil line gives me hives and the hibiscus, the coconut hibiscus one. So maybe it's the coconut scent they use. Uh, but these are pretty great, especially the conditioner of this I used up. So that's always a good sign if I use it up. And uh, please ignore how gross some of these bottles are. I don't, they sit in the shower now because my dad uses them. Love, love my dad. Anyway, <laughs> so 
Here's some more. We'll just go through the Shea Moistures here. Uh, I got a detox and refresh conditioner because I could figure I was figuring out something was going wrong with my hair and scalp while I was using Diva Curl. Uh, I was doing apple cider vinegar rinses and you know all those kinds of things because I was like, oh, I just need to be better and take better care of my hair and do these other different things on top of it. When in reality, once I stopped using the products and I went to a dermatologist, they were able to solve the problem. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, not good to be honest. It didn't make me break out in hives or anything like that, but you can kind of see I didn't use a, eh, the light's screwing that up. Didn't use a ton of it. I only used it to like here. It's, uh, you know, it's just something that they threw charcoal in, you know, the charcoal era. I guess we might still be in the charcoal era where they just put charcoal in things because people buy stuff that's got charcoal in it and that's just how it goes. And then, so this next one is, uh, strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture that I bought at Walmart for a very reduced price. Uh, I used it maybe twice. I really didn't notice too much of a difference. It didn't really soften my hair very much. It didn't really improve it very much. It was just kind of a waste, but it was cheap, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I wouldn't recommend these. I would lean towards the uh, uh, Hydrate and Repair Multi Action. Da da da. It's the Manico Honey and Yogurt. I like yogurt. Everybody likes yogurt. Uh, <laughs> so just to really highlight the uh, the suffering that occurred at the hands of Diva Curl, I will show you that I did get a Head and Shoulders uh, Deep Moisture Daily Shampoo. I was trying to be sulfate and silicone free, but my scalp was so inflamed and irritated because of that process. I bought like a shampoo brush and things because it's like, oh, maybe I'm just not doing it enough. I used the cleansing buildup, so maybe I'm not. So I started using head and shoulders because I was like, oh, maybe I just have a crap scalp. But it wasn't that. Uh, when I, you know, stopped using Diva Curl, a lot of my issues began to fade. It will say that is not, Diva Curl is not the only uh, product in this lineup that did really, really mess up my scalp to the point where I think that there's something wrong with the product. <laughs> because I have sensitive skin, but I don't have that sensitive of skin. You know, usually I can read a label and I know what product, like what ingredients would irritate me. And yeah, so head and shoulders, the OP. It's late, I'm just vibing. <laughs> so, uh, back at it again. Whoop, 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 whoop. I almost dropped my box. Anyway, <laughs> back at it again with Shea Moisture. I was still trying to fix my scalp. It's the purifying and hydrating exfoliating hair mud with white tree and lemon balm. Exfoliate and treat oily roots and dry ends. I was really sold by this because it said oily roots and dry ends. That felt like me, that felt like my song. Um, but it wasn't my song, it was just, it wasn't enough for what was going wrong with my scalp at the time. Really time and my dermatologist gave me something for it and it really helped. But if So if you're having problems with your scalp and you're financially capable of going to see a dermatologist, I really recommend it because a lot of times products can be really irritating and they can give you good advice on what kinds of things you should be avoiding. I, didn't, I wasn't that sensitive to stuff like that before I used Diva Girl. So... And it all blends in because you think you spend a lot of money on a product, you do your best, you know. I started thinking maybe it was just because I was using hard water, you know, because I had grown up and used soft water and then I went to college and was using hard water, but... Mm. Anyway, so I'm still trying to use sulfate free because I want to be a good curly-headed lady. And so we're using... What is this? The OGX? This is nasty. Anyway, OGX... Uh, Shea Soft and Smooth Frizz Defying Moisture Plus. Uh, this, sh I'm gonna say, this stuff just smells straight up like cupcakes. If you like the smell of cupcakes and you're looking for a sulfate silicone free, is it just silicone free? Is it not even sulfate free? No, it's sulfate free. Cool. And you wanna smell like cupcakes. That's your dream, that's your aesthetic. Uh, this is for you, you know? I cannot express how strong this stuff smells, like specifically Funfetti Cupcakes, to me. It is fine, but the smell is insane. 
I don't love the smell. <laughs> but maybe sugar cookies? I don't know. I don't know what they're going for. But my friend gave this to me because it was not cleansing enough. She had straight hair, so she was like, oh, this will probably work for you. Uh, in terms of its ability to cleanse and condition, pretty average. It, it's, it's safe, you know? I liked these well enough. Uh, I'll bring up some more OGX because I do have some more negative things to say about OGX. And I feel like we should keep them all together. We have the Biotin Collagen Shampoo and the Argan Oil Morocco Oil Shampoo. Uh, two things. First things first, uh, these things can't really be absorbed through the skin. I learned that in my uh, bio, what is it, biochemistry 309 or whatever. They made us do a study about how it couldn't be absorbed through the skin. Collagen is a very large molecule doesn't really fit into skin between skin so I did use it because <laughs> sometimes science is just memes and I want to use what I want to use and then uh, I will say this Moroccan oil one really made my scalp like break out like I would get like bumps that were like pimples and ingrown hairs and things uh, so I don't recommend this I think it is uh, there's a word for it like stuff that causes pimples uh, this one's okay not great. I wouldn't use either of these. I'd actually be more prone to using the cupcake one if you don't mind the smell. These smell better, but I honestly, I use them kind of back and forth. I'm pretty sure it's this one that gave me weird pimples on my head. Sorry, I'm not like showing you guys the products very well. I'm just kind of summing them up and assuming you know what they are. Uh, but you know, it was I was noticing my hair was falling out, so I wanted to get stuff that brought my hair back. My hair used to be a lot thicker than it is now. Uh, I lost a lot of my hair in this process, specifically during diva curl usage. I lost a lot of hair. And so I kind of like my hair thickness now because it's not like insanely thick. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend these. But they're very cheap and they're very cute. So if you use them or want to try them, they don't do a great job of cleansing or anything. So they're not, I wouldn't recommend them. Anyway, <laughs> wow, these are really negative, these graveyard things, but that's why they're in the graveyard. I mean, graveyard because there was something I disliked about them, so I stopped using them. There's a reason I stopped, and sometimes those reasons are because of the products, and sometimes they're because of me, but, uh, anyway, we're gonna pull up an actual gem of the graveyard here. We have the Garden Flower Mango Butter, Curl Defined Butter Mask from Not Your Mother's. Um really good mask. I recommend going and trying it. I think this is the best thing in their line. I loved it so much <laughs> that I went out. First off, I bought like three of those. Those are just, that's just the last one. I stopped using it. I went out and bought these. The shampoo does not cleanse great to be fair. I was having scalp problems when I was using it though, so it's kind of like, blah, 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 blah. is it really bad or is it just my skin? Uh, the conditioner's fine. Conditioner's not as good as the mask, so I would just use the mask as a conditioner if you have really dry hair. But if you don't have really dry hair, this would probably work for you if you had wavy hair. Uh, it's just okay. It's curl defining, so if you have a problem with frizz, I think that's a, this is a really good option. Uh, smells good, smells like mango. Uh, definitely not as abrasive as the cupcake one but I really think if you're gonna do anything in this line it's this this curl defining butter mask I think is really 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 nice uh, it was the first mask I used and went wow this is good I've had many of these this one just got lost in a drawer and it's been open for a while so I'm like should I use it should I not use it is it good that's why it's in the graveyard but that's okay I do recommend that one though Ah, <sighs> you're still with me? If you're still with me, thank you. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I love it when people actually sit through my whole video. We'll see if anybody does. <laughs> uh, this one's sad, especially because of how hard I had been trying up until this point to take really good care of my hair, really try, but I'd be lying if I didn't do this. And I'm here for honesty. Pentine. Pantene. Um, it's good. I don't know what to tell you. It's from Costco. 
and it's good. You know, it cleanses your scalp. I did get a little bit of a buildup problem uh, from it. I don't know why, but it's like it cleanses, but then not. Uh, I think it's just because it's got, it's old now, because it's so freaking massive that, and there's like nothing left in it. Like, I, we should probably just toss it, but uh, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. You know, sometimes you use Pantene, even when you're trying to be like fancy and part of the curly girl method and all these things. You know, sometimes the classics are the classics for a reason. Uh, I would use it. It would be fine if you use Pantene. As a side note, if you don't want to use all these fancy stuff and you want to go try all the stuff and you just use Pantene and you like it, do not feel pressured to change. Sometimes using what you have is just what it is, you know? And if you're comfortable with it, super cool. Don't change because I, it's wet. Those are the ones that look gross are the ones that my dad's using that have been sitting in the shower. Ooh, this one's a fun one. Anyway, this is newer pattern. This is a really cool, oh, I forget her name. Really cool actress. It's black owned beauty brand. Um, I got the little ones because I commitment and they're expensive, but I used up the conditioner. The conditioner's really nice. It has a nice smell, gentle smell of rose. It didn't irritate my skin at all. Um, leave-in conditioner was just a little bit heavy for me. Uh, I'm, I don't like doing leave-ins. I like doing deep conditioners and then just having my hair flow in the wind like however it feels like. But I think this regular conditioner is a huge win if you have dry hair. In general this is just the medium conditioner and there's an even more moisturizing one for uh, people with type 4 hair and it's just really really nice and the leave-in is probably way 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 better for people who have slightly curlier hair than I have so I think this is a really good product uh, I really recommend it it's available at Ulta so yeah I didn't try the shampoo I bought a little set, I gave it to my friend who had thicker curlier hair than me, the shampoo, because I could kind of just tell that the shampoo probably wouldn't cleanse my hair enough, so I didn't really bother with it. So a lot of times I'm using conditioners that are really good, and then shampoos that are a little bit more harsh. That tends to be what I look for in a product. All right. It's a roast. Love Beauty and Planet. Coconut water. Uh, please, please don't reflect so much. Thank you, thank you. Eh. I bought them for travel. And they're like crazy drying. And my hair is suddenly incredibly tangled when I use them. Like incredibly tangled. I don't know why. Some of these products, okay, it's important to note, all these products I haven't used since I cut my hair short, but if you have longer hair, no, hot no. Like, it, I don't know why. I, there's just something about it that makes your hair get tangled. If you have problems with that, it's just, you know, and, it, and the curl definition was bad. And so I'd always, I'd use it on vacation and then I wouldn't like any of my pictures because my hair would look weird. You know, it would look dry and frizzy. In like not a cute way just like in a in an uneven way if that makes sense if you have curly hair and your hair is uneven you get me <laughs> and who what do we got uh let's go for these so i bought these for myself for christmas it's the not your mother's styling creams because everyone's like oh you need to use styling creams if you have curly hair you need to use styling creams i don't have any styling creams in does it look okay probably not to some of you but that's all right so I bought this. It's a mousse. It's a gel. It's a cream. I used the mousse a little bit. Didn't like the smell. Didn't like how it built up on my skin. Never even tried these. So uh, I'm, I'd love to find someone to give them to, but I don't have a lot of people in my life who have hair similar to mine, who are in need of these kinds of things. So no knock on knock your mother. There's other products in their line that I like, like this. I really like this. I really like this. Um, but it's just, uh, 
I don't use a lot of styling products. I've recently found a styling product I really like. That'll be in another video. But it's just not my cup of tea. This is a fine mousse. If you have not so sensitive skin, this is probably good. But I don't know. They're just okay. Let me smell one. Hold on. <laughs> it just, it has a soft smell to be honest. It just smells clean. No skin off my back. It's fine. Anywho. Ooh, we have a very special guest appearance today. It's a true MVP of the dry hair community. It is Curl Smith, the deep quencher. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, double cream, deep quencher. This is good. This is good. If you have dry hair, I really, this is, it's either that or the uh, Curl Smith. This one is legit. This one is the big daddy of I want moisture in my hair, please. You know, you put it in and it just melts. Like, it's so soft. I can't even express how good this product is. Okay. Sorry, my lighting. Some people have, like, circle lights. I just have, like, a light fixture from the 90s that's, like, insanely bright. It's good. Um, anyway. <laughs> I really think this is a great product. The reason it's in the graveyard, even though I'm so full of love for it, is because now that I have short hair, I don't have nearly as much hair to put it on. And this, my hair doesn't, like the dryness of my hair isn't really that big of a deal anymore because it's so close to the oils from my scalp that it really doesn't dry out like it did before. Um, I would still use this much more rarely just to kind of give a little bit of moisture, a little bit of vitamin, a little bit of good. This is a really good product. I really recommend this particular Curl Smith product. I didn't try anything else. I really just went for, I need moisture in my hair. My hair is insanely dry. Please help me. And this is what I got. And um, so if you have dry hair and you're really looking for something, I really, really, really recommend this product. Anyway. Okay. Mm, we're getting to the end here. Which is good. I thought this was going to be way longer. Um... This will be fast. Sauce. Uh, guacamole. Deep moisturizing mask. Never used it. I didn't use it because shortly after I got it, I cut my hair short. So, no fault to this product. I have no idea what it's like. But it's in the graveyard. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. Anyway. Briago Don't Despair Repair Line. They, okay, so I didn't buy this on purpose. You know, I did not set out to collect these little packets, but they sent me, shit. They sent me so many of them. They sent me eight, 10 of them in these boxes. They sent it to me in several boxes, which was weird when I ordered. I ordered some fragrance-free uh, shampoo and conditioner from them, which is what I currently use most regularly, and that's fine. This, however, is not a great product. Um, I'm not sure. I'm suspicious that these are expired. I don't know how else to explain how I feel that way, but I've heard other people say really nice things about this, and the shampoo's fine. I have no beef with the shampoo. The conditioner and the deep conditioning mask, I think are the same. And they do not condition at all. Like at all. Like I don't feel any slip. I don't feel anything. Um, it smells really good. It smells like chai. Like really nice fresh chai. And so it's got like the milky, cinnamon -y, spicy smell of a good chai. And... So that's cool. I love the smell. It's not dyed or anything because I'm sensitive to dyes. Um, it's just not great. It's just not great. And I was going to use them as like my new travel shampoo conditioner thing because they're, they're so light and thin and I probably still will use them for that because I have so many of them and I'm going to try to use them. I've used two of these packs thus far and I'll replace 
these with this, but they're kind of the same. They're both kind of drying for dry hair and they like the shampoo's fine. And then you have like tangly hair afterwards and you're just like, why do I have this? So I think that's better for someone who has um, not hair that they want to moisturize, I suppose. It's just okay. I used it as instructed. They send you like this thing, a 14 day transitioning kit and it's just not great. It comes with this oil. Mm, please focus, please. And the oil smells incredibly strong for no reason. You smell like the oil all day. I think it's basically perfume you put in your hair. I didn't notice improve the, uh, the tangles at all. So, no. Uh, bra brago. Briago? 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 Yeah, I can't read. Maybe I'll make a video about how I can't read. Anyway, uh, this isn't, this isn't it. And it's so strange because I have products from them that aren't in the graveyard because I actively am using them, which are excellent. So I don't really know what this is about. I don't know if the samples are just significantly worse than the full size products or what. But um, definitely not a win. Wouldn't spend money on these samples because you can buy these sample kits. Uh, I got them for free for some reason. Some bonus or special. And uh, that takes us to the end of all of my hair care. It was a sad journey, but I will inform you now that I really do like my hair. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, it has, I think, nice texture. I got a really nice haircut and uh, it's good. So thank you very much for sticking out and hanging out with me. Sticking it out. I like, I'm like, thanks for putting up with me. But it's, uh, wow, it's a lot. It's a lot down there. Here, I'll show you. Oh my God, maybe I'll show you. La 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 la. La la la. 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 Yeah, I'm a little tired because I just filmed both of these back to back blue sweaters for the win. Let's find bottles that aren't gross. Finding bottles that aren't gross. Finding bottles that aren't gross. Finding bo Ooh, I'll put this one in because I'll really, I love Curl Smith, so. Those are me trying to pose for my thumbnails. And uh, so yeah, thank you so much for sticking with me. Leave me a like and subscribe. Oh yeah, I'm a real YouTuber. Leave me a like and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to write down all these products, aren't I, to put in my description. Maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. Maybe you'll have to just watch it and figure out what all this stuff is. Uh, even though I can't pronounce any of the names, so I don't actually say what they're called. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, weekend. Weeknight. Thanks for watching. Bye.